Hey guys, Chubby Butcher here. Hope everybody's doing well. Well, I just came back from up north to get my last of the fishing in. It was awesome. Now I'm back in Southern Ontario and I'm ready to roll. Last week I did a video on busting down a roaster chicken and today's the first meal generated out of that $28 investment. On the menu today, Grandma's Homemade Chicken Soup. With that being said, let's go. Well guys, the weather here is starting to change, it's starting to get cool nights. Uh, as you can see, my peppers are still trying to survive here, which is amazing. There's a Trinidad Scorpion still, still coming in. And I still got my super red Cayennes are still coming, which is crazy. But like I said, colder weather's coming. That means hearty meals on the way. On a sad note, guys, um, I did a video about six months ago on freshly made hot Italian sausage made from scratch. There was a dog in that video. Her name was Juanita. She was a three-legged dog. Unfortunately, Juanita passed away. She did love her treats. You'll be missed, Juanita. Okay guys, these are the ingredients you're going to need for grandma's homemade chicken soup. You're going to need some bay leaves, some pearl onions, ironically my grandmother's name was Pearl, rest in peace. You're going to need three 900 milliliters of chicken broth, less salt, a couple of cloves of garlic, Salt, pepper, some celery, some carrots, and I did a video last week breaking down a roaster chicken and I promised five meals from that and this is the first one of five. I'm going to be using one chicken drumstick, the chicken back, and two chicken ribs. Let's go. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to do is add 6 liters of water to the pot. Then I'm going to add my chicken back and my chicken necks into the pot with 2 cloves of garlic and I'm going to boil it for about 45 minutes. While that's boiling, I'm going to be chopping up my vegetables. Let's go. Just wash my hands guys. I'm going to put a couple of bay leaves in here. Put three in. Some salt. And some pepper. I'm going to boil this for 45 minutes to an hour. Now 
these pearl onions are a mild tasting onion. My grandmother always made chicken soup with whole onions in it. Okay guys, I'm boiling these pearl onions. It'll be easier to take the peels off. And you're looking about a quarter inch thickness. This way it'll cook faster. I just got these off the boil. Watch how easy the skin comes off. I'm going to cut the ends off. And it pops right off. Okay guys, I got it. The chicken bones simmering nicely in there. Developing a nice stock. Okay guys, that's an hour of simmering. We're going to remove our bones from the pot. There's our one rib. Okay guys, that's all the bones out of the pot. Now we're gonna add our vegetables. Our three 900 milliliters of chicken broth, less salt. Gonna add a couple more bay leaves and one tablespoon of chicken stock. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. While this is simmering lightly, I'm going to be taking all the meat off the chicken bones and adding it to the pot. Let's go. Okay guys, let's start taking the meat off these bones. Remember in the video, I said to leave a little bit of meat on the bones, now you know why. Final last check for bones. 
And there you go. Okay guys, let's pull our lid off. And let's add our chicken meat. Now guys, we're gonna simmer this for about an hour and a half. The chicken soup's been simmering for about an hour and a half. Uh, the pearl onions are cooked and the celery and the carrots are cooked. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, guys, our chicken soup is cooked. The pearl onions are perfect. Celery, carrots, all tender. Um, I'm going to complement this soup with rice. My grandmother always used rice, but she never put it in the soup because it's going to just expand and almost blow up in there. I crunched the numbers. The soup costs about $9.50. I'm not including the chicken back or the drumstick because we already paid for that. I said I was going to make five meals with that $28 investment. This is one of them. Make sure your bay leaves are all out of the soup. I added just enough salt so everybody could enjoy it. If you need a little bit more salt, then add it to your acquired taste. Okay, guys, I'm going to add the rice. Again, you don't want too much in there because it's soup. That's good enough. And now I'm going to add the soup. Okay guys, grandma's chicken soup is ready to go. The smells in the house are incredible. Now guys, I made enough soup to last me the whole winter, or hopefully the whole winter. We're gonna have them in little sour cream containers so when we pull them out of the freezer, they're ready to go. You know what you're eating. It didn't cost you that much. If you have a family member that's not feeling well, you can bring them over one. I'm going in. You know the drill. This could get ugly. Here I go. Sweet mother of pearl. This soup is fantastic. The pearl onions are phenomenal in this. You got the carrots, you got the celery, you got the garlic. All coming through in a perfect blend. Guys, this soup is going to stick to your ribs. This is definitely hitting the spot. And you guys are going to have to try this. It's not that hard to make. If you guys like what you've seen today, hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to my channel. I upload every week. If you smash that bell, you'll be the first to get it. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.